You are a patient cost between visits. The worst thing has just happened. As a result, he is unable to stop thinking about the tragic event. The thoughts keep him up late at night and wake him up early in the morning. Many physicians would prescribe a short course of a benzodiazepine in this situation. Would you be concerned with increasing suicide risk through disinhibition? Hi, Paul Zarkowski here with the Psychopharmacology Institute. Previous epidemiological studies have suggested an increased risk of suicide in patients taking benzodiazepines. But such studies are difficult to interpret as subjects with an indication for a benzodiazepine also have an increased risk of suicide merely from having the indication. But a study out of France attempts to address these confounding factors and assess the effect of benzodiazepines on risk of suicide. They used a novel design that uses each subject as their own control. Specifically, they compared the month before a suicidal act with the months 60 or 90 days before. The prevalence of unrelated factors would show no difference in their frequency in each month preceding a suicidal act. The factor that increases the risk would be more prevalent in the month before the act. The authors identified 111,500 individuals who attempted suicide and 12,312 who completed suicide between the years 2013 and 2016, each had received at least one prescription of a benzodiazepine in the preceding 120 days. Benzodiazepines were significantly more likely to be prescribed in the month before the suicidal act, with an odds ratio that varied between 2.77 and 1.44 depending on group. The greatest odds ratio of 2.77 was for suicide attempts in patients with no psychiatric history in the previous year, defined as no psychotropic medicines, disability, or hospitalizations. The same group with no psychiatric history in the past year was also 1.88 times more likely to have received a benzodiazepine in the month before their completed suicide. For patients with a psychiatric medication, disability, or hospitalization in the previous year, the probability of a benzodiazepine in the previous month was 1.74 times greater before a suicide attempt and 1.45 times greater before a completed suicide. By comparing individuals to themselves, the French researchers were able to avoid many of the confounds in the epidemiological study of suicide, including psychiatric diagnosis, substance use, social isolation, family difficulties, or family history of suicide. They argue that these factors are unlikely to change in a short study period of 120 days. Yet other studies have highlighted the temporarily increased risk of suicide in subjects receiving adverse news in terms of a recent medical diagnosis, such as cancer, or a change in social status, such as marital separation. It is possible that the same recent tragic event that convinced the physician to prescribe a benzodiazepine also elevated the suicide risk. To address this possibility, the French researchers normalized their results for benzodiazepines by dividing those results by the results for a non-benzodiazepine alternative, specifically ciamemazine. Ciamemazine is the most prescribed antipsychotic medicine medication in France, for its sedative and anxiolytic properties. The normalized results were essentially unchanged with a significantly greater risk of a suicidal act in the month following the prescription of a benzodiazepine that varied from 1.66 to 2.15 depending on group. Although the odds ratio for completed suicide in those without a psychiatric history in the past year could not be calculated due to the low number of suicides and those exposed to CMMSA. Of note, a similar methodology was implemented by a Swedish group to study the link between SSRIs and suicide. Instead of using a suicidal act as an index event, they used the start date for an SSRI as an index event and tabulated suicidal acts in the months before and after. 
they found that the highest risk of a suicide attempt was in the month before starting the SSRI. And all months after starting the SSRI had a decreased frequency of suicide attempts for all age groups. In conclusion, benzodiazepines are an important tool for managing anxiety. This study should highlight the need for careful monitoring of patients with indications for the prescription of benzodiazepines. It should be considered when our patients call between visits to report a life-changing event before prescribing a benzodiazepine.